The downfall of a scamp travel trailer is the amount of room you have, like on a windy day or a snowy day or a rainy day. It's kind of, you know, you're like in a cocoon because you only have, um, you know, 13 feet and you got a big three foot of it to tongue of the trailer, so you only have living space of nine feet. So, you know, I go outside when I can, but it's kind of windy out there and I don't like getting dusted. I was going to go down and take a shower, but there's no use going down and taking a shower because you just, when you come outside, you you go get dust all in your pools, but you just kind of like watch TV or work on your computer or, you know, clean inside of your camper, go out once in blue moon, you know, take little man out and do his business, but other than that, that's really the only, you know, downside to see of owning a 13-foot scamp travel trailer is just when the weather's bad, and if you all stuck inside it, you know, it's not the happiest time, but I've met people that car camp and truck camp and just think, imagine, you know, staying in the truck all day, but at least I, you know, I have a TV, I got a refrigerator inside, you know, I can play on my computer or, you know, play on the phone, but most of the time I just hang out with little man, mess around with him and all. I'll give him a brush and lay it on today and just find different things to do, but yeah, that's the only downsides I've ever found with my 13 foot scam travel trailer, but I'll check out little man, see what he's doing, play with him for a while. Okay, there's my pretty boy right there. You want a brushing? I, I'll give you some keys if you want a brushing. Yeah? You gonna let daddy brush you? And after brushing, you get your keys. How about that? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Say, okay, okay, I can do that, daddy. I can do that. I'll be good boy while my daddy brushes me. But I really don't like being brushed. But I get my keys after I brush. Yeah, get that cheese, don't you? Huh? You get that cheese? Yeah. Okay, well, let's get the brushing, little man. Get them all prettied up. Okay, you want to see somebody get excited watch this. Come here, baby. Get the cheese. That's a good boy. He'll sit there all day long and eat cheese. Come on, get back up here. Yeah, that's my good boy. I mean, look, he's a pretty boy. You gotta get back up here. Yeah, good boy, yeah. Come on. He usually he'll stay up here, but there you go. He, he, he likes his cheese right there. He'll sit there all day long eating cheese. I can usually give him like half a slice, but I give him this because he's a good boy. I'll show you. I have to brush him every day, but believe it or not, this is what I get off of him. Okay, baby. Yeah, yeah, good boy. Yeah. That's one brushing of him right there. And that's a daily brushing, but that's how much hair comes off of him. That's quite a bit of hair, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. That's an everyday hair brushing, little man right there. I mean, I've never seen a dog shed that bad, but that's what it looks like every day when I brush him. And, but he's a good boy. He'll just sit right there and let me brush him because he knows he gets that old cheese. Yeah, he knows he gets that old cheese, but this is what we do time in the camp. We just play around and watch TV and... I'm that's a little man. He's a little man. Yeah, that's my big boy right there. Daddy loves little man too. I'm getting ready to take little man out and so y'all see how breezy it is out here, but I have to hang on to the door because it, it'll tear your door off the hinges, you know, if you don't hang on to it. But here we go. I lock her in place. Okay, I got her locked in place like that. That way, the wind can't carry her off. But come on, little man. Come on outside, baby. Come on. I bring him out. I bring him out to do his business. So, but yeah, another windy day here in Ponte Villa, New Mexico. Wind just a blowing, boy. At least it ain't dusty yet, or not too dusty. You can see it's blowing him all over the place. Little man, you snippy? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I guess March is a windy time of the month. But, with my trash bag blowing in the wind, my curtains blowing in the wind. But, see, with that on, um, with a scamp, they count the footage, they count from the tongue of the trailer all the way back to the back side of the trailer so 
I would say that's probably about three feet right there, so a 13 foot scamp is actually a nine foot scamp as far as living area, but let me see if I can find a little man. Where'd you go, baby? Look out, the wind's blowing him. Well, we'll get back in the trailer. Well, I'm getting a little bit of the outside time today. Uh, yeah, it's another windy day. It's supposed to pick up later on this afternoon. So after spending the day in the camp yesterday, I figured I'd come outside and get me some air before it gets too bad and be stuck in the um, camper again. So, um, yeah, I'm back down here at Ponchevilla State Park. I mean, I'm waiting on some packages to come, so I have to hang out around the dimming area until my packages get here. But yeah i mean it's a beautiful day it's just real windy and um uh, they're calling for wind storms again tonight so usually when the wind storms come dust comes with and you might as well just stay in the trailer but yeah i'm in site number 15 the only thing bad about this site is my 110 on my pedestal is not working so i got power to my trailer and everything but i i don't have 110 so i um I can't run my little electric heater at night, so it gets a little chilly in the camper, but what I'll do is I'll just I'll set my furnace on 60, the thermostat, and when it gets down to 60, it, it fires up and heats the um, camper up. Okay, there's my pedestal right there, and I'm actually supposed to be parked over here, but due to the fact that I didn't have enough cord to reach all the way over here, Jonathan, the park um, head of the park, let me park here. As you can see, because see, I like having my door coming out to my picnic table, like right here. I don't see the sense in having the door facing that way when your picnic table is over here. But anyway, back to the idea of my pedestal, the 110 and it's not working. So, so I don't have, all I have is the main power to my camper and off my camper. I have a receptacle right there and what I'm doing with that is I'm running that into the back of the car to the Mr. Eddie and charging that up so I can keep my refrigerator running. The Mr. Eddie's doing real good so far. I mean, it's firing up. It don't take long charge. See, with shore power, I'm getting 197, if y'all can see that, which is real good. I mean, last night it was down to about 10 and it's back up to about 80 now and it's only been charging for about an hour so it charges pretty good real fast but that's why I got that's why I got these cords running because other than that I wouldn't have any juice but um uh, my neighbor told me if I had a long enough extension cord I could run over there to his pedestal over there in his camp spot that's uh Donna and Brian right there the people I did the um casita video on but straight ahead you see their power box and I could run an extension cord from there over to my extension cord and uh, that way I'd have 110 from my furnace but as of right now I'm not running my little electric heat I'm running strictly off of propane and I can't run my little Mr. Buddy heater because Jamie's got my filter and he's over to City Rocks with my filter so I don't have a filter to put on my Mr. Buddy heater so I can't use my Mr. Buddy heater, so basically it's all messed up, but one day at a time, and it'll all get better in due time, just one day at a time, that's all you can do. Get my filter back from Jamie so I can run my Mr. Buddy heater off a 20-pound tank, because you go broke buying those little one-pound tanks on a Mr. Buddy at $5 a pop, and with the price of gas and everything going up, you got to get all the different ways to save pennies out here now, I think. I think times gonna get pretty tough for RB as much less people that you know live back home or live all over the country that don't RB is. I think times are gonna get pretty tight now, so all we can do is take it one day at a time. I don't know what Sniffy's been doing. That's all he's been doing all morning. Little man, what are you doing? Hey little man. Hey, what are you doing? Oh man, why are you doing that? Little man, come here baby. Little man, that's all he does, constantly. I have no idea what he's sniffing out, but that's what he does all day long, nose to the ground. 
Sun's going down. I hope y'all can see that. But there your sunsets in New Mexico. Really pretty, isn't it? I don't know. Most of the time the camera doesn't do any justice, but I just wanted to get that sunset. Let me find little man, see where he's at. Little man, where are you? Isn't that beautiful? Pretty cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here's another view of it. Pretty nice. Oh, Janie. That's a pretty cool shot right there.